Greetings to all. A Saturday afternoon session based on Tagore's famous story, The Wife's Letter, narrated by Dia Banerjee. Mrinal writing a letter to her husband. To thine auspicious lotus field, today we have been married for 15 years. Yet not until today have I written you a letter. I have always been close by your side. You have heard many things from me and so have I from you. But we haven't had space enough to write a letter. Now I am in Puri on a holy journey and you are wrapped up in your office work. Your relationship to Calcutta is a snail's to its shell. So, you couldn't apply for a leave. It, it's what Lord's desire and so was his granting me my leave application. I am the major beau, the second wife of your family. Today, 15 years later, standing at the age of the ocean, I understand that I also have other relationships with the world and the world keeper. So, I find the courage to write this letter. Long ago, in my childhood days, my brother and I came down with typhoid fever. My brother died, but I survived. All the neighborhood girls said, Minal is a girl, that's why she lived. If she had been a boy, she couldn't have been saved. Yamraj is wise in his deadly robbery. He only takes things of value. Later, when your uncle came with your friend Nirod to view your prospective bride, I was only 12 then. We lived in an inaccessible village where jackals would call even during the day. Your mother wanted desperately to make up for the plain appearance of the first bride with the good looks of the second. Otherwise in Bengal, no one has to search for jaundice, dysentery or a bride. They all came and leave to you on their own. Finally, the wedding flutes wailed. Setting the sky to moan, I came to live in your house. The terror of the entire household, even the entire neighborhood, settled like a stone in my chest. That I had beauty. I didn't take you long to forest, but you were reminded every step of the way that I also had intelligence and I had something else outside all the domestic duties of your household. Something that none of knew. Secretly, I wrote poems. No matter if it was all rubbish, at least there the boundary wall of inner compound couldn't stop me. There lay my freedom. And in all these 15 years, None of you ever found out that I was a poet. Meanwhile, my daughter was born and she died. She called to me too, to go with her. If she would have lived, she would have brought all that was wonderful, all that was large in my life from Mejobo. I would have become a mother and I watched my Didi, my sister-in-law who had brought her orphaned sister Bindu in your house. But Annoyance. when she saw her husband, she began to pretend that Bindu was an unbearable imposition on her too. As Bindu's fear ebbed, another problem arose. She began to love me so much that it brought fear in my heart. Through her love, I saw a side of myself that I had never seen before. It was my true self.
my free self. With passing days, Bindu's marriage was fixed. An ill fate of her compelled her to burn herself into death. Her death has a profound emotional impact on me. Truly speaking, in your world, I didn't suffer what people would normally call grief. In your house, there was no lack of food or clothing. And your character, there was nothing I could complain of. But the dark veil of your custom had cloaked me completely. I'm not scared of your street any longer. In front of me, today is the blue ocean. Over my head, a mass of monsoon cumulus. Now, the major bodies, you think I am going to kill myself. Don't be afraid. I wouldn't play such an old joke on you all. Meera Bai said in a song, No matter if my father leaves, my mother too. Let them all go. But Meera will persevere. Lord, whatever may come to pass. And to persevere, after all, is to be saved. I too will be saved. Removed from the shelter of your feet. From Mrinal.